strangers in the night, exchanging clothing, strangers in my pants, fingers rubbing. Surprise! Police, spread them! Got a gun creep? Shamu's got one. Borrow his. What? What have we here? That's my dick. Oh, funny boy. What have we here? Looks like heroin, Gene. Hey, you just planted that. What'd you say? You fellas want to read me my rights? You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to have your face kicked in by me. That's nice. You have the right to have your balls stomped by him. I'll waive my rights. Gramps, move it along. What's the booking, gentlemen? Position of narcotic. And yeah, the chief wants to talk to him. Oh, yeah? You'll like Chief Garland. He's a nice man. Yeah, I hear he's mellowed out a lot since he came out of the closet. You better take his picture while he still has a face. You've been hurting him. Give him a buzz. Come in. Here he is, Chief. Easy, fellas. I'll be with you in a moment. Did you decorate this place yourself, or did Mrs. Chief of Police help out? So, what's your name? Fletch. Full name? Fletch F. Fletch. I see. And what do you do for a living, Mr. Fletch? I'm a shepherd. Officers, uh, could you excuse us for a few moments? Hey, uh, why don't you guys go down to the gym and pump each other? Why are you doing this, Mr. Fletch? I like men. I like to be manhandled. I like you. For a gentleman who was just found holding a bag full of heroin. That was planted on me. Well, we're looking at five years here, maybe ten. Now, is that what you want, Jane Doe? <laughs> you had her to phone me to respond to allegations you're about to print concerning police involvement in narcotics dealings. Uh-uh. I'm about to bust that beach wide open. And I don't need some penny any Woodward and Bernstein to come along and get in the way of my men. Well, your men may just be involved in all of this. I would think that might interest you. Idiot. All right, strictly off the record, OK? Yeah, OK. I got that beach crawling with undercover cops. But if you come along nosing around, you're going to make the bad guys more cautious. Yeah. Makes my job harder. And listen. If you print your story this week, you might get some of my men killed. I can't have that, Mr. Fletch. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Well, I got a deadline. So the name's Carlin with a K, right? You dipshit. You put my back in a goddamn beast and you won't live to regret it. All right. Hey, you and Tommy Lasorda. I hate Tommy Lasorda. Hey! Sure, I think I'll take care of now. Swing low, sweet chair. Come on, come here. Coming for to carry me home. You can't keep me here, Chief. Maybe I'm not going to keep you in here. Maybe I'm going to blow your brains out. Well, now, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I do believe that's a violation of my rights. Uh, after I shoot you, I stick myself in the arm with this knife. Then I place the knife in your dead hand. <laughs> Self-defense. We don't do it much anymore, but we well, back in the old days. You're serious? Ask anybody. Can I ask anybody now? How about, can I call my mom, tell her how much I love her? Uh, I guess not. I'm a newspaper reporter. You don't just blow away a newspaper reporter. It's kind of stupid, isn't it? Well, it'd be Fletch. Hey. 
I hate the beach anyway, man. This is even my story. I've got a deadline on my series on the off-track betting in the Himalayas. It's a smaller story, but I know you've been following it. I can tell you have things under control down there and your beach. Come on now. Come on. May I? Thank you. 